Welcome to another webisode of Reality TV. I am your hardworking, disabled American host, even though I haven't worked in quite a while. Um, here today, not looking very well. Um, I didn't make myself beautiful like I usually do for these appearances. The shave job wasn't that well, and I think I need to take a little off the top. But nonetheless, I um, wanted to share the great news with you. There is no great news, so we should probably cut it short now. Um, the waiting game continues. Appeals have been filed with, uh, for Social Security Disability uh, to get insurance from the state that the disabled are entitled to. As the dead continue to collect their checks, which I still find very amusing, only here in Massachusetts do dead people collect health benefits, but those that actually need it and are entitled to it can't get anything. Um, my primary care doctor that has been my number one through 10 advocate over the past nine years since my first incident happened, is leaving his practice. He's moving on up in the world, which is great for him and his family, but it leaves me in a bind, because again, that was one person I always rallied around, so I'm gonna be harassing him, I'm sure, for every piece of paper when it comes to me, when he leaves later this summer, and best wishes to him if he's watching this. I know I sent him the link. Um, it seemed like I had much more great insight that I wanted to share, and I can't think of it right now. Um, we're going to start to heavily promote this um, over the summer. My, uh, he, he's getting a promotion from intern. I'm not quite sure what his label is yet, but he'll still have the same cabbies that Nico and I are going to be working extensively on some of these projects over the summer as well. Is my good friend Reno Mario Chastain. Um, I woke up today with a leg spasm, if that is of any interest to you, which made me bite my hand, and my hand is still cut um, because it's about the most painful feeling in the world as it looks like your leg is a hot tub is with pain shooting through your body. Um, what the hell did I want to say in this? This is why you should write down notes, and I don't have any notes today because I feel and look horrible. Um, I'm, I'm, as, I'm as depressed and as blue as my outfit. I feel blue, I look blue. Can see, uh, everyone tells me how much weight I've put on, which is another uh, uh, ego booster. But anyway, I've been walking. I don't know if that's had anything to do with my back flaring up big time. Um, it's been painful sometimes to even breathe, which sucks, because you kind of need to breathe. Um, unless you're Reno. He gets away with his heart beating four times a minute. He has it pretty good. Um, but. Yeah, so I've been on my back a lot lately, which sounds wrong, unless you're in the prostitution business in Las Vegas. Um, but my legs are down, don't worry. Don't get the wrong visual in your head. Um, I still maintain this great sense of humor as, well, you might think it's a horrible sense of humor, but in my mind it's a sense of humor or a funny outlook on things. Even though I'm absolutely pissed off, miserable, bullshit, about everything that's going on around me. And see, this is almost like sitting with a psychiatrist. And since I have no insurance, I can't go and see a psychiatrist, even if I wanted to. Um, I can sit here and talk to this camera. And poor Nikolai is behind the camera saying, what the fuck did I get myself into? See, we can swear on the webisodes, because these aren't going to be on television. Reno Chastain is in his baseball outfit today. It's a great day. These lights are blinding me because I turned them on too high, because my back was bothering me sitting in that chair. And this one, I came down, and I'm kind of leaning back like I'm in a recliner at home, I just need an ottoman. So now I'm really getting out there, but it just shows what a difficult life it is when, when you start off able-bodied for most of your life, and then you have that taken away from you, and absolutely every aspect of your life changes. Um, you know, if there was a big ray of hope that I would be well again and I'd be, you know, running the marathon next year and so on, you know, it might be easy to, to cling and rally around some kind of hope. But in a situation like mine where th the best odds are a 50-50 shot at having a spinal fusion, and even then, who knows what the end result will be. Um, I don't know, but I don't have the insurance to get the spinal fusion done. The state, as I've mentioned to, is either overworked, useless, or both. The insurance companies are scum. I still need to get a sleaze bag, and watch him watch this at some point, a sleaze bag um, workers' comp 
attorney to represent me. I need some kind of an advocate. Now that my doctor has left, Dr. C, if you're watching this, look at what you're making me sink to. Looking for low-life scum that advertise on television with their little um, uh, primetime drama type commercials that they try and pump 30 seconds into about what a great job they're going to do for you without mentioning how much of a percentage they take. I always try to represent myself, but um, the Massachusetts Department of Industrial Accidents wouldn't allow me to rep represent myself up against um, my ex-employer's insurance company's legal team. But see, I try. I'm not trying to waste anyone's money. Um, so I guess that's that. Um, a friend has passed along almost an adv advocacy type group's information to try and help with social security disability, um, insurance and so on. I don't know if that's one of those ones that charges some kind of a fee or if there's some kind of a hustle that goes along with it. I'm, if anything, I'm hustle free. I don't want to hustle anyone. I don't want my life hustled and believe me, it's been hustled. Um, so I may try and call them, maybe on camera. I think we actually tried to do that once and it was a fail because the person wasn't in the office. My, to my, uh, my assistant, yes, we did do that. Okay, I got the, no, I, I see a cabbie's lid moving. I'm almost blind without my glasses on. Um, we might have to do that again. Now that it's the summertime and I can have this outstanding, mature, young individual here at this studio, the sky's the limit. And especially with Reno here observing thing, things, he looks like a mafia boss over there with his sunglasses on, always even nodding to that. You don't mess with Reno Mario Chastain. Anyway, I'm rambling right now. Um, I just I appreciate the messages I get on Facebook. I haven't been on as much as lately, um, probably because I've been somewhat depressed about things. Um, nothing seems to move, including me. Um, so it's just... I hate to be capped in negativity, and it seems like every story I have is a negative one, unless I add some kind of um, comedic antidote to it. And sometimes I don't feel like adding comedic antidotes, and that is the truth. Um, so I'm going to leave it at that for now. Uh, it was a pleasure to join you if I didn't date this, which I always love to do. Here, Wednesday, June the 19th, 2013. Hopefully we'll be back with a 30-minute episode. The only reason I've held back somewhat on making... Uh, complete 30-minute shows is because the airings of episodes 3 and 4 haven't aired yet um, for those that are in the television footprint, which goes to about, I don't know, seven or eight cities around the Boston area. Um, I want to do a press release for a local area to really hype this show up because it's stories that need to be shared with people about how corrupt and despicable a lot of disabled Americans' lives become because of fill-in-the-blank. But anyway, Nico's getting angry with me. He's looking everywhere but the camera right now. Reno fell asleep on the couch. It's not a good scene. Never mind me. So I'll leave you at that. Until we speak again, be well. If you are in my shoes, well, I can't, don't, can't wear shoes anymore because of my CRPS. If you're in my sandals, keep trying to fight the good fight. When I'm in one of my more cheerful moods, when I'm not so down and depressed and miserable, we're going to fight, fight, and fight a little bit more until the good guys win. Be strong, be well, see you next time.